I know, I heard that. It's like at 12 o'clock, it's like a seriously. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> so this morning, we gather to open our spirits to the wideness of God's love and the abundance of God's grace. God, may our worship today become a celebration of all you are and all you have given to us. Let us sing and praise and worship this morning. <clears throat> Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. So hear these words from, uh, from Luke, Luke wrote that Jesus, uh, in telling uh, several stories, which I'll get to in a minute, but said this, told the story about a man who had two sons. The younger of them said to their father, 
give me the share of the estate that is coming to me. So the father divided up the property between them. Some days later, the younger son gathered up his belongings and went off to a distant land. Here he squandered all his money on loose living. After everything was spent, a great famine broke out in the land and the son was in great need. So he went to a landowner who sent him to a farm to take care of the pigs. The son was so hungry that he could have eaten the husks that were fodder for the pigs, but no one made a move to give him anything. Coming to his senses at last, he said, how many hired hands at my father's house have more than enough to eat while here I am starving? I'll quit and I'll go back home and I'll say, I've sinned against God and against you. I no longer deserve to be called one of your children. Treat me like one of your hired hands. With that, the younger son set off for home. While still a long way off, the father caught sight of the returning child and was deeply moved. The father ran out to meet him, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, I've sinned against God and against you. I no longer deserve to be called one of your children. But his father said to one of the workers, quick, bring out the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. Take the calf we've been fattening and butcher it. Let's eat and celebrate. This son of mine was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, and now he's found. And the celebration began. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, he who Ask the kids were mostly uh, <laughs> needed, <laughs> and Lola uh, if, to uh, well, anybody else. I forgot, uh, and you. I'm sorry, but uh, anyway, uh, to follow Anita to uh, where the kids are going to be in the other room. So we'll let them go now.